in work and when the lockdown started I never thought it would be this long the university hasn't opened yet we're not all back to work as normal I've got special permission to go in <laughs> difference in fitness, not cycling to work and back every day. Legs don't feel the same. It's a mix of strange and familiar. Campus is usually quiet in the summer anyway, right? No students, a lot of staff on holiday, that sort of thing. But I haven't been in for a long time. And yet when you come in, your old routines and habits are still there. It's quite nice to be in. Anyway, what am I doing in? So I've got a number of jobs to do. The reason that even though the university isn't open and most people aren't in yet, don't know if they will be in, in the, anyway, is I've got a, num a number of jobs to do. One, I've got to build a video system for delivering live lectures through video from the anatomy lab using our wide range of teachers. Because when we teach, we don't just use anatomists, we use radiologists and surgeons and pathologists and um, all sorts of clinical anatomy teachers. So I want them to be able to teach from the anatomy lab so the new students and the year two students feel like they're still connected with us and with the anatomy labs. Um, I'm also, I've, I've, got, I've got four 3D printers now. I've got two new ones in boxes that I haven't even set up yet. One's a UV one, never played with a UV one before. So I'm gonna set those up. I'm testing a file now so I can print out a lot of 3D prints for students. So even though we can't do face-to-face -face teaching in September when they start, I'm hoping to produce things that they can collect and take away. For example, study the bones of the wrist and the hand using 3D plastic models at home. You could probably clean them with alcohol and stuff, couldn't you? Yeah, anyway. And then um, the third thing is I am recording anatomy videos for asynchronous learning. Don't like jargon. Um, for you guys and for everybody else. So I get on with it.
printers are built, let's get some water for a cup of tea. Normally, my tap for water is up there, but just follow the arrows. I love a tour. Right, outside. I think the one-way system is good actually, it's a good, it works well and it's a good idea and it's the best way to deal with a difficult situation. But I've got to go find somewhere I can get water for my cow from now. They took my tap away. It hasn't printed anything. <laughs> Why not? so hard to get off. <sighs> Good test print. Done a couple of prints and neither of them have worked. Um, what I've managed to produce are a couple of discs, right? Uh, so what I think is happening, because I'm trying to, the test print that comes with this printer are a couple of chest pieces, a couple of rooks, right? So what I think is, this is the build plate and the resin is in here, is that it starts okay and these are stuck to the build plate and they pull up and pull up and pull up and make layer after layer after layer. But then there, these, when, when I go in here, when the printer's failed and finished, these are stuck to the plastic at the base of the, of the, um, of the dish here. So I think there's, they're supposed to be stuck to the, the, the build plate, but they're also sticking to the bottom of the dish. And of course, these two forces are working against each other. And when the adhesion to the dish exceeds the adhesion to the build plate, it pops off, floats around in there, and then the rest of the print is just, well, it's just nothing really. That's enough for today. I've got a lot done today. The other printers are running great guns because um, it's a copy of one I've already got, so I know how, how they work. So I'll, I've cleaned it all out. They're really messy. I'll have another crack on Monday. Right, let's go climbing. <laughs> I'm going to cycle home in the rain. Let's hope the weather's a bit better this weekend. Avoid the heat, which is not something we often say in Wales. We can do some evening climbing down here at Golden Gulch in the nice shady bit there where the rock was going to be too hot. And I love evening climbing. I love evening climbing too. We never normally get out, you know, to kids and sort of feed them and stuff. Oh, this is wonderful. Right, so we go feed the kids. <laughs> 